Welcome to Catherine the Paint. Today I am going to make a mess. <laughs> I can already tell you this. Going to make a mess. Um, one of my students was using this canvas, but their mom came a little early, and so she didn't get to finish. Well, actually, she barely got started, but canvas already had a little bit of wet paint on it. So I'm going to go ahead and paint over top. <clears throat> so she had mixed up a lot of paint. So we have a gold. It's actually a combination of two different golds, uh, the Folk Art and the uh, Craft Smart. Um, a metallic Deco Art blue and Apple Barrel Parrot blue and Folk Art Extreme Glitter. Oh, cool. We're going to have some fun today. All right. Well, <coughs> excuse me. All right. Let's just, I am using an Apple Core for the first time. I'm just going to I put down some white paint, so I'm just going to start pouring the paint around, put some in the middle. It's a lot of gold, so make sure we use the gold. Never used the apple core before, never seen anybody use it before. I did put white paint down so it's kind of hoping that it would go under it a little bit I might just move it around too a little bit and just lift it up and hop it over because why not Gonna mix in a little bit of white also directly into the paint. Alright. I have no idea. Well, let's see what reactions we got. That seems to be a lot of paint. We still have a lot of paint left over, but alright. So a lot of action going on. You know, it is Wednesday, so it is leftover paint day. All right. That is really pretty, actually. Alright, so I am going to rub my fingers along the edge, the bottom edge, and then I am going to let this sit for a little while and decide if I want to use another technique on it. I could do a string pull, or I could do a balloon smash, or, or I could leave it and then embellish it later, or just leave it 
as is. So decisions have got to be made. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes and I will be right back. Okay. This may be crazy, actually. Probably is. But I have a um, chain. I am going to not dip it in paint and just lay it in here and leave it for a minute and then pull it down and see if it makes a cool pattern. I really don't want to ruin this canvas, but you know, hey, you never learn unless you experiment. Like you can do the same thing over and over, but how are you going to know if something different could happen if you don't try? something different. Okay. There's a lot of paint on here, so I am going to leave it for a few minutes like this, and then I'm going to pull down and see what happens. Okay. I guess we are going to do this. I'm not sure if it's going to make enough contrast to actually show up very good. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a contrasting color. <laughs> but you know, I would not have known what was going to happen if I did not to do that. So, there you have it. Whoops, I forgot to unpause, but I just laid this chain down. I put it in white paint and laid it down. That's all I've done. So now I'm just going to pull it down, see what we get. Okay, yeah, there's still a lot of extra paint on this. All right, here is this one, completely dry. Turned out pretty cool. I like how the chain pattern made, um, the chain made a pattern in the little flowers. It's really cool. I think it really matches with the background. So I was pleased with this one. What do you guys think? Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be inspired.